All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a FAQ page for your Shopify store. And you'd want to do this because uh, this is going to help save you a lot of time um, in regards to customer support. If a customer can go ahead and just go to an FAQ page and go ahead and get their questions answered without having to use customer support or anything like that, then it's going to save you a lot of time and or budget if you have a customer support team. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a uh, professional looking one using a free app so the first thing you want to do is log in and come over to the app store and just search for help center and then click on this app right here so help center by vertex LV and go ahead and add this to your store and you can see they have a free plan right here and that's the one we're going to be using so once you've went ahead and added this in uh, you can come over here to apps and then just open it up and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and edit this right now. But the first thing I want to cover is the type of stuff that you should put on an FAQ page. So I'm going to kind of give you a few categories that are going to be useful. So if we take a look at this notepad here, uh, I kind of uh, split up questions into five different uh, categories of questions here. So not every question is going to be applicable to every store depending on what you're selling, but a lot of these are pretty universal. So uh, the type of content that you're going to have on your FAQ page is going to vary depending on what you're selling. And uh, you know, you're going to have to put in your own um, custom ones, but I wanted to provide some universal ones that could help um, get you started and give you a little bit of a template to go off of. So we can see here, uh, the first category would be like general type questions. So this could be something just like, I, I need to change something on my order, how do I do this? And then the second category could be like product specific questions. However, um, if you're selling like a ton of products on your store, you have like a couple hundred products and you're probably not gonna have product specific questions for every single one of those products on the FAQ page. So this would only really be applicable if your entire uh, store is solely based off of like one product or one offering and then you know the question could be like can i use this product to do task or whatever like any type of question related to that one product uh, another universal category for any store where you're selling physical products would be shipping so questions in here could be like where can i track my order or do you ship to my country and the another universal category could be payments so like what form of payments do you accept and do you offer financing could be a few examples in there and then another example would be uh, returns and refunds another universal category it's like what is your return policy and like my product is broken how do i return it and one thing you want to make sure you do is keep track of questions that you get from customers um, throughout the lifetime of your store and if you start to see the same question pop up uh, multiple times then make sure you add that to your FAQ so that way uh, the customers can see that on the FAQ page the next time and not have to reach out to your customer support. So these are just a few universal FAQ questions to kind of get the ball rolling for you that you can go ahead and use. And then like I said, make sure that you think of some of your own that are custom and unique to your store because you know every store is gonna require different ones. So with that said, now that we know what we can put in here, I'm gonna show you how you can actually start putting it together. So once we're in this page right here, um, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and edit these right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sticking with the free plan. So the free plan gives us unlimited, what's called articles, but we only get one um, broad category and one broad section, which is fine because we're just gonna be putting all of our questions inside of the articles, which we get unlimited articles on the free plan. And if you want to go ahead and add different sections and everything, uh, you can, but you have to get the paid version of the app. So if I go ahead and open up this first one right here, I'm going to just change this to frequently asked questions and then click save. And then after we save this, we can go ahead and publish it. And then we're going to change the section name real quick to just like top FAQs, save click publish and then down here uh, this is where we can actually start putting in our questions and answers so the first one right here if I click on edit we can see that right here there's a section where we just put in the question um, for the FAQ so I'm going to take one of the example questions uh, that we were looking at earlier and go ahead and paste that in 
and then down here this is where we can go ahead and put the answer to the question so what I'm going to do is since there's a lot of formatted and yellow text in here I'm going to just click on the view HTML and just get rid of all of this here just so that way you can start from a blank template and then um, as far as using the text editor it's really no different than the text editor within the Shopify page editing it's the same thing you can come in here edit the size of, of the text you can change your font I would recommend choosing a font that looks uh, somewhat similar to the font that you're using uh, within the store within your store and then you can bold and then add bullet points and things like that so down here we would just want to go ahead and answer the question so in this case I'm not going to go ahead and type out full answers for each one of these um, questions that I'm going to be putting in because that'll make the video too long but I'll just put like can change your order by doing this and then you can just come down here once you put in the answer click save and then we can go ahead and click publish and what you want to do is just continue to repeat this process for every single one of your FAQ questions here so I can put in a question come over here and get rid of the text and then like in this case for example where can I track my track my order um, you could go ahead and be like something like if you're shipping with like USPS you could be go ahead and copy your order into the link here and then you could go ahead and link by highlighting the text and then inserting a link to the tracking page so if you have a tracking page on your site you can put that in here or if you're shipping with like USPS or, US, or UPS or FedEx or anything like that then you can put the link to their tracking page um, right there so in this case I'm going to just put an example link in here and then click save and then that's going to publish and then we just keep going down the line and we go ahead and continue to add our additional questions in and then add our answers and you can go ahead and just save that in here and we just keep on rinsing and repeating until we have all of the questions that we have filled out so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and stop here at four because I think you get the point at this point when it comes to adding these in and if you go ahead and use up all of these you can like I said add a new one and you can add unlimited ones with the free plan here so if I come up here to preview we can take a look what this looks like so far so you can see we have the frequently asked questions section and then we have all of our questions showing up down here and then a customer can come over here click on a question and then see the answer so this is where you'd see the answers that you went ahead and put in so it's pretty simple and it looks a little bit better than just putting a FAQ page into a basic Shopify page because it makes it look a little more um, clean and professional but one thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of the search function up here just because uh, if you only have five or six FAQs um, they're going to be able to see all of them here um, regardless so they're not really going to need to search for something when there's only five options to see so if we come back over here we're going to edit these settings right here and I'm going to show you a couple things you can do within the settings so the first thing that we can do here is we can come down here and change the main color if we want which is just going to be like this black or we can change the highlight color which is this color right here so in this case I would recommend changing this color to like match the color of the branding you're using with your store and then if we come down here all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck so show search bar and then click save and then once this saves I'll go ahead and go up here and preview this again and we can see that now the search bar is gone and we just have the FAQ page set up right here so at this point all we need to do is add this to our navigation 
So the last thing we need to do to go ahead and add this to the menu is we just need to copy this bit of text right here. So I'm going to control C to copy that. And then if we click add menu item, we can go ahead and then choose to add it to the main menu or the footer. I'm going to add it to the main menu. I'm going to click add menu item. And I'm going to go ahead and name this FAQs. And then I'm going to go ahead and just paste this link in and then click add. Uh, paste this link in, click this, and then click add. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the menu. And then if I go over here to preview the online store and we take a look at the menu and I click on this page, we can see that the FAQ page is now um, up and running. So this is an easy way that you can create a uh, neat looking FAQ page uh, using a free app. Now you can just go ahead and use like this same template right here and do the same thing literally within a page if you want. So you could like come into Shopify pages, create a page and you could, you know, come in here, give it like heading to frequently asked questions. And then you could come in here with like heading three, take one of these questions, paste it in, and then like place, paste the answer here. And then you could rinse and repeat and create it manually without the app. So you don't have to use the app. I just kind of like how the app looks with this uh, click open functionality, but you can create the same exact thing um, within just a Shopify page itself either way. So the most important thing is just to have the FAQ page set up. So go ahead and use this template to uh, get ideas of where to start out with. And if you found this video helpful, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.